this is our DP. We recently replaced the rear brake pads as well as the front brake pads on this 2013 Ford Escape, but also we replaced the rear passenger caliper brakes. But now we are going to do a brake fluid flush and bleed. The first thing we're gonna bleed is the uh, the rear passenger side and then lead the rear driver caliper and thirdly we're going to bleed front passenger caliper and finally bleed the front driver side caliper so to do this bleeding process we have a a bleeding, bleeding pump. Okay, now before we start the process, we need to remove brake fluid from the brake fluid reservoir. So I have a 22 mill, milliliters uh, graduate dropper. Um, so let's go ahead and open the brake fluid reservoir to get some brake fluid out. Making sure we don't drop any brake fluid on any part of the car. So for that purpose, we put a piece of towel underneath and we carefully remove. So this is uh, how much brake fluid we, rem we remove from the brake fluid reservoir. So. The brake fluid is not dirty. Uh, one of the reasons why, because we had to replace uh, the rear brake caliper. So, and the rear brake caliper was leaking. So we had to, we had, um, we had to add more brake fluid to the brake fluid reservoir. This is the bleeding valve uh, for the brake fluid. So there is a cover on the bleeding valve. We can go ahead and remove the cover. After we remove the cover, making sure we place it somewhere safe so we can find it. Let's put it right here. And then we get the tubing coming from the pump reservoir. And we attach the tubing to the bleeding valve, valve, bleeding valve. Oops, we made a bubble. We need to get the, we need to get the, the 10 millimeter wrench first and before we put the valve. So let's we'll go ahead and remove the valve. I mean, let's go ahead and remove the tubing. And we can add, the wrench. Now we're ready to roll. Okay, now let's crack the valve open just slowly to see if there will be any fluid coming in. Just a little bit of fluid. And now let's start the process of bleeding. So we pretty much pump, bleed a good amount of brake fluid and see how dirty the brake fluid is. So now we're getting some clear brake fluid to the line. So that's where we stop. And then we're going to do the, um, the rear driver's side. So let's go ahead and empty this container so we can, so let's see, we already close the big valve. So we can go and remove 
the tube in. I wipe the bed valve cap and then put the cover over it. And we are done with this side. So the brake fluid was pretty much clear. And it also it was at two and a quarter ounces. Now it's at, let's make sure, it's at three quarter ounces. So we pretty much got a lot of brake fluid out, but also we get a lot of dirty brake fluid. So this is the last brake fluid we get into the tubing. See, it's how clear it is compared to this. So we just emptied the brake fluid flush container. We're gonna come to the front under the hood to fill the brake fluid reservoir. But before we fill it, we have to remove at least a few ounces. from the brake fluid reservoir and put it into the brake fluid container. I think that's good enough. Then we have to refill the brake fluid reservoir. Now, when you're doing this project, make sure you have enough brake fluid on hand. And since this 2013 Ford Escape called for DOT4, so therefore we have one big bottle of DOT4 that we are using, and we have another one that is still full in case we need more brake fluid. So now let's move to the rear driver's side. So again, we're going to adapt the same process. First, we remove the, the bleeder cover, and then we put it somewhere safe so we don't lose it. And then we clean the bleeder valve. Before we do anything else, we add the 10 inch winch, making sure we don't do anything backward this time. And then we add the tubing. So then after we add the pump, So on the rear driver's side, we pump at least more than three ounces of brake fluid. And this is how dirty the brake fluid is. This is trip number three to the brake fluid reservoir. Again, we're going to remove some of the brake fluid and add it to the, the pump reservoir. A little bit more than one ounces. And then we're gonna add more brake fluid because the goal is to get some clear brake fluid into the line. Now we are working on the front passenger side so we have one more to go so this time on the front passenger side we pump at least two ounces of brake fluid see how dirty I mean See how dirty this brake fluid is? And the lie, 
it's pretty clear. I mean, it is the same process we're gonna be doing on the front driver's side. So pretty much, it's a repeat process. And it's just pretty standard, you know, that you have to change, you have to bleed your brake line every two years or so. So I just performed that on my 2013 Ford Escape. Again, I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos and more giveaways. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.